And finally tonight on The Ed Show, a sobering milestone in the war in Afghanistan. 1,000 American troops have been killed since the war began, and the death toll has significantly picked up in recent years. The first 500 American deaths spanned nearly seven years, but it took less than two more to reach 1,000. Now that progressives have shown that they can win elections, it might be time for President Obama to take a left turn on Afghanistan as well. Joining me now is Robert Greenwald, the founder and president of Brave New Films and the director of the documentary. Documentary, Rethink Afghanistan. Mr. Greenwald, good to have you with us tonight. Can we, can we comprehend how much money we're spending in Afghanistan? It's really hard to, to understand or to really put a face to the numbers, Ed, but just think about this for a moment. How many people in our country are without jobs, schools, health care, homes, and this month we're going to spend $7 billion billion, not million, dollars in Afghanistan on a war that everybody knows is not making us safer. And everybody knows if we weren't over there now, we wouldn't suddenly be going over spending seven billion in one month to find less than 100 al-Qaeda. It fundamentally makes no sense. And it's over a trillion dollars, isn't it? For the entire... It's going to be over, uh, yeah, on May 28th, it will be a trillion dollars we will have spent in this war. And it's mind-boggling to think of where that money could have gone. The, again, the number of jobs, you know, the elections that you were talking about before, jobs, jobs, jobs. I want some candidates to run for office and say, yeah, I think the best use of your money is to send it over there and not provide jobs and not provide health care and not provide schools. It doesn't make any mis sense. And I tell you, on our Rethink Afghanistan Facebook page, the comments from people who are unemployed, the comments from military people over and over again are talking about the waste and abuse of our money and our resources and the lives of Afghans and Americans. From your independent reporting, can you say that we simply are not making progress there? What do you think? Well, we can say it for sure. Our producers in Afghanistan can say it. We have video showing it. But then you have General McChrystal saying it. Nobody is winning. That's a horrific admission after a tr what will be a trillion dollars, 100,000 troops, over 100,000 private contractors. And when I was in Afghanistan, Ed, they need help there. It's the third poorest country in the world. But they need teachers. They need job programs. They need health care. Not people with guns intimidating killing and occupying their country. Yeah. It's fundamental to the way that our security can be protected, and we're not protecting our security. And I'm looking for a smart policy from Washington, not this policy. Uh, gosh, it sounds like they need all the things we need here in America. Look at the age of the soldiers that we are losing. I find this mm. uh, terribly interesting and troubling. From 2002 to 2008, the average age was 28 years old. Last year, it was 26 years old. What do you make of this? Now in 2010, the average age of, of loss of life of our soldiers is age 25. What do you make of that? Well, first of all, Ed, it's heartbreaking. I mean, the thousand deaths, think of the number of families that are permanently scarred and ruined and pulled apart because of those thousand deaths. And it's younger and younger men who are being taken from their families, taken from their homes, and taken from their cities. It's a draft, but it's an economic draft of poor people who are going into the service because it's the only way they can provide for themselves or their families or their loved ones or get an education. And they're being killed at a horrible yeah. rate. And I know it's unpleasant, and I know people want to turn their eyes away from it, but I think we all have an extraordinary responsibility to speak to our senators and speak to the members of the House and saying, what is going on here and that how time are we is going coming. to end that, this? That time is coming. Mr. Greenwald, good to have you with us tonight.